This is the ninth lecture on the series of the presence of black people in the Bible. In this lecture, we shall focus on Jesus and Simon of Cyrene, the cross bearer. In the fifth lecture, we pointed out that Jesus and Mary were dark skinned persons. We also showed artifacts from the catacombs of Russia that validates this fact. You know, Hollywood movies often present Jesus as a white person and Simon as a dark skinned person. This imbalance is incorrect and deceitful. It is important to understand that the two dark skinned persons carried the cross and both were subjected to public humiliation. Simon cross suffered with Jesus and witnessed all the tragic events surrounding the persecution. Therefore, the continuous portrayal of Jesus as white European man has come under renewed vigorous scrutiny in recent decades. There is a rise in scholarship during this period of introspection over the legacy of racism in society. Not many theologians and church leaders have taken time to teach about the contribution made by Simon of Cyrene in the authentication and the endorsement of the ministry of the Apostle Paul and Barnabas. Let us read Acts 13 verse 1 to 3. Now there were in the church that was in Antioch certain prophets and teachers, Barnabas and Simeon that was called Niger and Lucius of Cyrene and Menian which had been brought up with Tetrarch and Saul. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me Barnabas and Saul for the work whereunto I have called them. And when they had fasted and prayed and laid hands on them, they sent them away. It is important to understand that the word Niger in this text, it's used for the first time in the Bible. It is a Latin term for black or dark. It was used to describe black or dark-skinned persons. In this event, the Holy Spirit spoke to black persons to authenticate the ordination done by God on Paul and Barnabas. Remember that it is not the prerogative of the church to ordain people. God ordains. The duty of the church is to authenticate and substantiate what God has already ordained. Jeremiah 1.5 says, Before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew thee, and before thou comest forth, out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. You see, we have to understand that God ordains. We should not usurp the prerogative of God. God ordains, and the church authenticates and endorses what God has already ordained. Here is a picture of the Apostle Paul and Peter from the catacombs of Russia depicted as dark-skinned peasants. And here are some of the pictures we will talk about in our next lecture. More information about the Garden 
of Eden. Shem, Ham, and Japheth. As I close, once more, the Bible was written by black people.